In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the trig function values for 45 degrees. So we can do this by writing down a very special right triangle. It looks like this. So this one has length 1 and length 1 here, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. And this here is 90 degrees, and both of these angles here are 45 degrees. So using this, and, and, uh, and so katoa as well, so so ka toa, we can come up with the answer. So so means opposite over hypotenuse, ka means cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, toa means tangent is opposite over adjacent. So sine will be opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 45 degrees so it's opposite over hypotenuse. So let's work with this one here. So opposite is 1, and hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So it's 1 over the square root of 2. The reciprocal function of sine is cosecant. So cosecant of 45 degrees, that just means we flip this one. So when you flip it, you just get the square root of 2. Let's do cosine now. So cosine of 45 degrees. So this would be adjacent. So adjacent to this 45 degree angle would be 1 over hypotenuse, same thing. And so the reciprocal here would be secant, 45 degrees. So you just flip it and you get the square root of 2. What about tangent? Tangent of 45 degrees so tangent is opposite over adjacent. So in this case, the opposite is 1, the adjacent is 1. So you just get 1 over 1, which is 1. Really nice. Really easy to memorize these two. And then the cotangent of 45, well, all you would do here is take the 1 and flip it, so you still get 1. I hope this video has been helpful.